I promised that 60k subs, I would make a video reacting to mean comments. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Get your mom, get your dad, si Angkong, si Ama, si Shoti, si Shobe, your cousins, your nephew, your friends, your students, your employees. Yung random na tao sa daan, hatakin mo, subscribe mo sa YouTube channel namin. What's up, Internet? We've hit 60,000 subs and to help us celebrate, Don Papa is helping us with a giveaway. If you want to win one of these very excellent bottles of rum, all you need to do is these three things. Watch the video, take note of the code phrases in the video, and finally, answer the Google form which is in the text description. There's no need to sub, no need to like anything, just watch the video. This is an excellent rum and I need it for good vibes because today, like I promised for the 60k video, we're going to be reacting to mean comments. Mean comments make me sad, but good rum makes me happy. First up, you speak like drunk Baron Keisler <laughs> na lasing. Ano? Ano? <laughs> Actually, this comment was for one of Raphael's videos and he doesn't even know who Baron Geisler is. Next up, Amoy kita bes. Wala mo nang amoy ah? Bading. Ah. Actually, this guy was kind of creepy. Ever since around 20k subs, he follows every video, he leaves a comment. I even saw him on a live chat one time. So he's calling me gay, but his thumbnail is of a cock and he follows my every video. Hmm. Personally, for me, it doesn't matter if you're gay, straight, bakla, tomboy, lesbian, transgender. Those are all valid choices. Love wins. More bading comments. Kingin na mo bakla. Ikaw yung lasing. Not yet. Tayin na mo bading. Ginagawa mo lang yan para sponsor kani Asus ulul. Magkamagalit, bro, and thanks for the sub. Sorry, I wasn't able to reply to you in the comments, pero sobrang busy ko eh. Tamit kasi pinapadala ni Asus. Ma monitors, graphics cards, motherboards. Headsets, keyboards, mice, t-shirts, <laughs> so many things. I'm just too busy. Thank you, Asus. This is a tech channel, so of course, when people disagree with me, they call me The Verge. Pray, bayan. Ano klaseng billion? Walang alam. Atul Nick. Ano klaseng cable management yan? Hindi nga management tawag dyan eh. Cable spaghetti tawag dyan eh. Tingnan mo naman yan oh. Parang hindi pinag-isipan. Bobo. Panoorin ko na lang yung The Verge. Mas may marami pa ako matututunan eh. Because that's what passes for wit among those guys. See this video above. So like this guy. Some of the sinasabi mo is mali. We're gonna get to the whole English Tagalog thing in a little bit. But actually this guy, he had original music on his YouTube channel. And I went to it, and I listened to it, and I liked it. So I left him a comment saying so. Good vibes lang. Pag The Verge comment, palaging may ha 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 ha. As in, talagang tuwang tuwa sila sa sarili nila. You don't know what you're talking about. I'm lol at your blog. I'm just lol. Made my day. Thanks bro for making me laugh so hard. If it makes you feel good thinking that you know more than other people, then congrats because we have more than over 200 videos on this channel. And if you ever you feel sad, you need to pick yourself up and laugh at somebody, please feel free. Madaming videos sa Hardware Sugar. Kampai! Some people do quite get aggressive in telling me that I know nothing. Like this guy. You don't know shit. Three exclamation points. Same guy. Kulang ka bata. <laughs> Actually, I'm close to 40 now, and on a personal note, I'm filming this on my birthday. So, malapit lapit na ako sa 40 anos, and uh, it feels good to have somebody call me bata. <laughs> Sir, I do not know how old you are, pero kalma lang. Can't believed. Can't believed. Na 26.5 subs ka, tapos para kang amateur sa PC. 60k subs na ngayon. Can you believe that? This comment galit kasi sinabi ko na sometimes customers make mistakes. Rene request pala ng mga customers nyo ang errors at mistake. 
Huh, does that make any sense? Think before you speak. Actually, yes, customers make mistakes all the time. We have customers asking for AMD CPUs on an Intel MOBO. We have customers asking for 360mm RADs, where their case only fits 120mm RADs. We have customers asking for ARGB when their mothers only support mothers. Sorry, motherboards. Cheers. PC building is complicated and not everybody is tech savvy and that's what the shop and the YouTube channel is there for. So, teka, let, let me make sure that makes sense because think before you speak, right? Makes sense to me. Apparently, this commenter is one of those guys na tech gods. Like, they know everything about computers. I know because he proceeded to list down everything that he knows about computers. I accidentally came across this video and found it to be the tepic... Tepical? Pabarok na ako. Pasensya na internet. Let me, let me focus because I don't want to be a drunk Baron Geisler na lasing. No, 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 no! I accidentally came across this video and found it, found it to the typical, found it to be the typical tech tips video ng typical wannabe. Kailan ka una nagka-PC? Ako kasi, 1985. Ano ba alam mo tungkol sa PC? Bumuo ng isang PC? Computer technician ka ba? I am not. Ako kasi, bukod sa alam kong bumuo ng PC, eh alam ko rin manira ng computer. I personally code eh. Actually, lahat ng pwedeng gawin sa PC, alam ko. <laughs> Ikaw na sir! I mean, why aren't you working at Facebook or Google? I, I, it's amazing that you have the free time to comment on this, on my videos, considering that you know everything about computers. To be honest guys, I don't know why I get these kind of comments where they feel the need to get into a tech pissing contest with me. Kayo na ho magaling. I have never said in my entire life that I was ever the best at anything. I have never said in my entire life that I know the entire breadth of a topic. If someone as wise as Socrates said, I know that I know nothing, mas lalo pa ako. Whatever the topic, whether it's tech or something else, I've always tried to learn as much as I can. I don't know everything, but the little that I know, I try to understand on my own and I try to help out others. Cheers! The first part of that comment is also interesting because he's implying that I don't speak English well. Sinasabi niya, barok ako. Mali daw pronunciation ko nung bang for your buck and seconds. We've gotten some other comments criticizing my English and to be honest, I find these really kind of funny. Because if you know me in real life, parang ako yung number one na Inglesero. If you grew up with me, mano nose bleed ka araw araw. The grade school I went to, poro ko nyo kids yan, puro mga Inglesero. And every year, the, there would be a competition where each section would choose a contestant, and that contestant would have to stand up in front of the entire year level and read a composition. Hundreds of kids. Alam mo sino nanalo? Ako. In high school, I was in the semi-honors English section, top 3 out of 15 sections. In college, I was in the merit English section, which was the top 4 out of 50 sections. My college course was English Literature. After college, I went to study law, and at the same time as I was studying law, I was also teaching as a professor in a university, teaching English. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, not to belabor the point, but I'm quite comfortable with the queen's tongue. But why do I say sir instead of sir and driver instead of driver? Because that's a Filipino accent and it's easier for my viewers to understand. And there's nothing wrong with the Filipino accent. The Americans have an accent. The British have an accent. What's wrong with our accent? Total, it's been voted the sexiest accent in Asia. We should use that. It's a sample of the English diaspora. And that's something to be celebrated, not to be ashamed of. Besides, when I try to use all English, may nagagalit rin naman sa akin. English, English, mo, sa ko, punyata! Regardless whether it's English or Tagalog, we use language to communicate. But to be honest, there are some comments na parang alien yung pinagsasalita nila. I, I don't understand what they're talking about. Pinaglalaban mo, nag-reason pa, nag pa ako ng video. Ha 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 ha. Nag-channel ka pa. Ha ha ha. Yun na lang, ginag yun na lang ginagawa mo, nahihirapan ka pa. Ha ha ha. 
<laughs> what? Salud. <laughs> then there are the videos who say that I'm an idiot, but it's like they didn't even watch the videos that they're commenting on. Tanga ka ba kung bibili ka sana sa MS Microsoft ka bibili para legit. This is from my Windows 10 video discussing what the pros and cons are of buying Windows 10 from the from Microsoft directly versus buying it from the gray market. So I, I, I go through like a table, I do a breakdown on why you might want to prefer the gray market over Microsoft. But in comment, parang, shem, it's like, there are legit reasons why you wouldn't want to buy it directly from Microsoft. But the comment seems to not understand that. Another comment, yung rebate, ibibigay nila. Pero yung contract, hindi. Kaya nga may contract, di ba? What for? Hindi pwede daanan sa init ng ulo. Real talk lang. Alam ko na, fantard ka ni Converge. This is for a comment on the PLDT lock-in period when because PLDT failed me for more than one month, I went to them and said I was terminating my line and they shouldn't charge me the pre-termination fee. And if you had watched the video, dear commenter, you know that PLDT waived the lock-in period. So yung sinasabi mo na hindi nila i-wave, we need nila yon. Sana pinanood mo. Good vibes lang, good vibes. I I'm forgetting. Good vibes. Thanks, Don Papa. Did you watch the video? Whew. Pero sa totoo lang, when I was preparing this video and going through the comments that I would react to, I was surprised. Not by the volume or the number of mean comments, but by the value of good comments. To be honest, sobrang natouch ako. For every mean comment left, there must be like 20 good comments saying that, oh, thank you, this video really helped me. The ones I like the most are, you know, I wasn't really into PC before, but I watch your videos and now I'm interested. Tas gusto ko na magbuild ng sarili kong PC. Because that's what I am shooting for the shop to make it more accessible. Hindi to puro jargon, hindi puro mga technical, hindi puro yung mga tech gods na nagsasabi na, de, mali ginagawa mo, de, di mo dapat gawin yan, de, di mo dapat ilagay yan. PC building should be fun. It's a really cool hobby. And that's the number thing. Number thing. <laughs> Don't papa, man. Don't papa. That's the number one thing that I want from the shop and from the YouTube channel to, to impart that sense of fun, that sense of discovery na, wow, ang ganda ng part na to. Wow, ang ganda ng combination na to. Wow, ang ganda kaya, gawin ko kaya na, you know, parang bubuo ng sarili kong computer. And I was really touched by, you know, all of the comments that I got about that. So, yung takeaway ko dito sa 60K video are not the mean comments, but all of the kind words that all of you guys have left. So I researched how many people does the Arneta Colosseum hold and it holds 16,500. So can you imagine if you put all of the subscribers of Hardware Sugar, it would be almost around 4 Araneta Colosseums. Or the biggest indoor arena in the world, which actually is the field sports arena of the Iglesia in Bulacan, fits around 55,000 people. So if you take all of our subscribers, they wouldn't even fit into the largest indoor arena in the world. And to be honest, that, that blows my mind. I mean, that, that, that's amazing. I never thought nung ginawa natin tong YouTube na to, to you know, have free marketing for the shop. And I never expected it would hit 60K. Super thank you from the bottom of my heart for subscribing, for liking, for sharing, for leaving a comment. Even the mean comments, kasi, <laughs> to be honest. And again, this is not the alcohol. I'm perfectly sober. If you ever went to law school, you know that it takes more than a couple of shots of very excellent rum to, to get a law student or a lawyer drunk. And <laughs> that's a whole separate video. Like, ano mga kalokohan na ginawa ko law school. But now, we're shooting for 100k. Thank you, internet, really. It's been a joy. And again, I mentioned I'm shooting this on my birthday. And honestly, I can't think of a better thing to do on my birthday than to say thank you and cheers to all of you guys. This one's for you.
Thanks for watching, Internet, and special thanks to our top fans Christian Espinosa, John Ruben Ocha, ITX Addict, Ian Meru, Richard Onkinko, Leah Magnaye, and Dom H. Maraming maraming salamat po.